So we have looked at how a periodic function with period 2 pi can be expressed as a Fourier series. Uh, so in this lecture, we will look at you know, issues of convergence. So it, it turns out that if, you know, if the function satisfies certain you know, very reasonable properties, then you know, the series is indeed uh, going to converge, right? So that is the content for this lecture. Right, so so the Dirichlet conditions would guarantee that you know, the Fourier series corresponding to a periodic function would indeed converge. Uh, so it's a theorem, right? So it's a, a you know a, a, the, the what we are going to state now is you know has a, a rigorous theorem status, but of course we are not going to prove it. We are going to just uh, you know state what the Dirichlet conditions are, right? So we have seen that uh, it is useful to think of a piecewise smooth function, right? So and there is a reason why we introduce that notion and that has to do with Dirichlet condition, right? So if your function is periodic with period 2 pi and if between minus pi and pi of course it has to be single valued and it is also piecewise smooth. So what is a piecewise smooth function? A piecewise smooth function is one which is piecewise continuous and whose derivative is also piecewise continuous. And if both these conditions hold, then the Fourier series is guaranteed to converge to f of x at all points where the function is continuous, there is no ambiguity, right? So the Fourier series also will converge to the value of the function at that point. But when you have these jump discontinuities, that is where you have some uh, ambiguity for what the value of the Fourier series would be at that point and it turns out that the Fourier series as we have you know written down is going to uh, is going to converge to the midpoint of of the jump right so that is f of x naught plus plus f of x naught minus divided the whole thing divided by 2 right so this Dirichlet conditions you know they uh, uh, have very nice applications, some of which we will see in this lecture. Okay, so let us look at an example. So we have seen that the Fourier expansion of this 2 pi periodic function, right? It is useful to look at an example that we have already seen, f of x equal to 0 in the region minus pi to 0 and it is equal to 1 if, you know, x lies between 0 and pi. Now for this function, we have already seen that the Fourier series expansion is given by this quantity, right? So now we are worry about what this means, right? It's an infinite series, whether uh, you know whether this converges to this function, right? But uh, uh, you know we have already seen evidence of this convergence, right? So because uh, you can just plot this function to you know truncating at higher and higher levels, keeping more and more terms, and we see that the more terms you keep, the closer this seems to get to the original function itself, right? So that is evidence for the fact that it is going to converge, right? So although, uh, I mean, there is, this function is, you know, rigorously going to converge to this because it satisfies the Dirichlet condition. So in, indeed, this function f of x is piecewise smooth, right? It is piecewise uh, continuous and its derivative is also piecewise continuous. So indeed, it is piecewise smooth. And therefore, this Fourier series is guaranteed to converge to the function value wherever it is continuous. And if it's if it's a jump discontinuity, the series must converge to the average of its values, right? So you can see that the only point of difficulty with you know this kind of a function is at x equal to zero. And if you put x equal to zero, all these signs are going to go to zero, right? Every one of the terms in this series, other than this constant term, everybody else is going to go to zero. So you see that evidently the series is going to go to half right when you put x equal to 0 whereas the function itself we have not even defined what it is at x equal to 0 right so so you, uh, just like the Dirichlet theorem you know told us it told us that at a jump discontinuity the series is going to converge to half the value of the function you know slightly to the right of the discontinuity and slightly to the left of the discontinuity which is indeed true now let's look at uh, uh, you know we can we can plot this and, and check that the two are becoming better and better which we have already done and I urge you also to come up with your own plotting you know plot, use some plotting software and 
and truncate this series at you know, various uh, orders and then check that it's becoming better and better as you keep more and more terms right so now um, let's just pick one point if i take x equal to uh, pi by 2 right so between 0 and pi it's supposed to go to 1 right so if i just pick one value x equal to pi by 2 so now the function is continuous here so dirichlet's theorem tells us that the series must converge to 1 right so that mean, that means we should be able to say half plus you know 2 by pi summation n equal to 0 to infinity so where i have x in place of x i put pi by 2 and on the right hand side i i am going to say that this is equal to 1 right this is a consequence of dirichlet's theorem and the fact that this function is continuous at x equal to pi by 2 so then i you know pull this one to half to the other side and then i take this factor by 2 by pi multiply throughout by pi by 2 so then i have and i write this out explicitly the series right so i have 2n plus 1 pi by 2 so it's going to be you know pi sine of pi by 2 sine of 3 pi by 2 sine of 5 pi by 2 so on so you see that there is going to be an alternating sign which comes in so i have 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7 and so on so this series quite remarkably you know what this uh, you know theorem and Fourier series analysis tells us is that this C series is going to converge to pi by 4 right so it's quite a remarkable result which we seem to have pulled out of nowhere you know it seems it's like a magic trick so it turns out that this is you know this is what is called uh, Leibniz formula right for pi by 4 and it was discovered by Leibniz in 1673 right so it turns out uh, it turns out that uh, uh, you know Dirichlet conditions can yield many interesting results for us so uh, if we have uh, not already looked at this convergence of these uh, functions okay like I have a you know a series of plots here right so if you have already done it that's fine or I urge you to do it yourself but I also have a sequence of plots right so you right here so I have um, well I'm using some mathematical notation if you're not familiar with it it's not a problem so uh, what I'm doing is I am taking you know the summation sine of 2n plus 1 times pi by 2 divided by 2n plus 1 and um, you know truncating it at various levels and then uh, multiplying throughout by um, 4 because I want to I, uh, you know not verify just this but uh, look at 4 times this to verify that it's going to go to pi right so let's let's look at this I'm going to just not worry about um, you know giving you the details of what the code is but let me just show you the plot so if I show you the plot it's going to look like this there you go so you see that as I uh, keep more and more terms in this series I'm just summing this right to higher and higher orders I find that um, it's going to go, get closer and closer to pi by 4 and it's an alternate it's a uh, um, these partial sums you know they approach pi no doubt but you know they miss pi by an amount which is which is uh, which alternates in sign right so and that is something that is not surprising because you have you know every term in this sequence is uh, you know as the consecutive term in the sequence changes by a sign right so there is going you over correct for it a little bit and then you have to go back in the other direction and then you go in the other direction and so on right so every term that you add will uh, will cause you to miss pi by an amount which is either positive or negative depending upon which term you are at right so that's also cleanly captured in this plot right so it's a, a confirmation that indeed this this uh, you know very beautiful result holds numerically we're able to you know see that it's a, it's a plausible result right so it's quite remarkable that you have all these you know rational numbers on the left hand side but if you you know add an infinite number of these rational numbers it can go to pi right okay so now so Dirichlet conditions can often be exploited to obtain surprising and 
beautiful results many such infinite series can be you know pulled out many such magic tricks are possible so let's look at another example so let's expand in a fourier series this two pi periodic function defined by you know f of x equal to 0 from minus pi to 0 and it's one only in an interval from 0 to pi by 2 right it's not it's a little different from the previous example and then again it becomes 0 from pi by 2 to pi now the coefficients of this fourier series you can obtain right we have given the prescription for this so let's just assume that we know how to work this out right i'm giving you the answer here so i have 1 by 4 plus there is going to be a cosine series and a sine series right so invoking the Dirichlet condition at x equal to 0 all the sine terms are going to go right they don't contribute because you're putting x equal to 0 and then the cosine terms will give us exactly this same series in fact 1 by 4 plus 1 over pi times 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus so on and that this, this must be equal to half right because Dirichlet told us this Dirichlet's condition at x equal to 0 guarantees that this series must converge to half this value to the slide of, of you know the, the sum of the values slightly to the right and to the left of this point and that is just half so if I arrange terms then it tells me that 1 minus 1 third plus 1 by 5 so on this series converges to pi by 4 right recovering the magic result so in fact let's see what would have happened if you put x equal to pi by 2 that's another point of discontinuity we would have 1 by 4 plus 1 by pi right so now the all the cosine uh, terms would go so then we are left with only the sine part then if you carefully you know look at all these terms so you'll find that in fact even here you get 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by uh, minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 so on so in fact it's exactly the same series comes in if you also look at x equal to pi by 2 and this too confirms that it's going to go to pi by 4 you should check this carefully right so what we have managed to show is that we have stated the Dirichlet conditions and we have you know you know told you when the series will will converge and when to what value right and we have also given you a few examples showing how some you know very beautiful infinite series results can be obtained with the help of you know Dirichlet conditions applied in a clever manner right so that's all for this lecture thank you